Hi everyone, in this video we will see what is Q in Business Central and how to create a Q in Business Central. So a Q provides a visual representation of aggregated business data. So what is it aggregated business data? So here you can see this is a Q. Okay, so what it shows like you have two sales code. So totally you have two sales code. Okay, so this is what aggregated business data. Okay, so even if you click here, no, like uh, if you just click on this, it will show you the data. So here you can see you have two sales codes okay which happened so what it's showing is it is aggregated that is count okay here it shows the count of the uh, date that is the count of the sales code here okay this is what the queue and this is sales order totally you have eight sales order and total invoices are seven and here you can see this is ongoing purchase so this is what the queue okay and also here you can see this is the total sales this month particular month this is sum okay this is aggregation and this is overdue sales amount and this is overdue purchase invoice so this is the purpose of a queue in business central so what you will see is what the aggregated data like the number of open sales invoices so queues are interactive which means that you can select the queue to drill down to data or open another page, run a code and you can do even more stuff with the queues. So queues displays data that is contained in table field. So you can use the data from the table field and you can display it in the queue. Anyhow, in order to display the queue, we will be writing the code in the page. Okay, this particular data, like whatever the data you are using can be a raw data or a calculated data. So this is what, as I told, you can drill down further. So if you click on any of the queue, you know, it will just drill down to the next page where it shows how many total purchase orders you have. Okay, so this is what the very big, very basic introduction about the queue. So you have create a queue is a there are two types of layouts in queue. One is a normal and wide layout. OK, so queues appear in the client with either a normal or a wide layout. So what is that normal layout displays queues as a tiles? OK, so normal will shows the queues as a tiles. OK, and with this layout, queue groups are automatically arranged to fill the width of the workspace. Based on the workspace, it will arrange by itself, which means that there can be more than one group horizontally across the workspace. And the wide layout is designed to display large values such as monetary values. So the wide layout gives you a way to emphasize a group of queues. Okay, so here uh, you can see that uh, this is this is basically the field caption. Okay, this is the field caption. If you click on this more, you can further drill down. Okay, this is basically the drilling down drill down option which is available in the queue so whenever you create a queue you can see this okay and this is what the wide group okay this is what the wide group okay this is the wide group. so I uh, wide layout okay I told you right normal layout and the wide layout here so this is a wide layout and um, you can also uh, create a, a group this is the this is the group caption you can see um, this is not yes this is the group caption group caption that is this three are related to payments and this three queues are related to ongoing purchase and this three queue tiles are related to ongoing sales okay and here you can see you can upload the document which is a scan document I got it so these are all the various um, various options which are available in queue when whenever you create a queue you can also tell this okay so now let us see how to create a queue in business central we will open the visual studio code and create a simple queue in this video i will just show you how to create a simple queue with a table and in the next like in the upcoming video i'll show you how to extend that queue that is uh, bring that queue in the role center page etc so now let us see how to create a queue I am using a VS code and here I am going to start with T page which will which will show me the snippet for the page. Okay, and you have to change the ID. So you have to give the ID 
based on your requirement okay based on your available based on the id availability and q x b c q okay so the page type is what card okay and the application area is equal to all the just leave this and i'm going to use the source table as customer okay because uh, from the customer i'm going to bring all if you have your own table uh, then you can use the table and if you have some uh, field data over there you can use that field as well in order to calculate that okay so next one is the layout area content and in the group it's not a group it's a queue group okay because we are going to create a queue group okay you can give the name for that queue group name so i'm just going to give the queue group name as a uh, uh, group 1 group 1 is my uh, queue group name okay this is what the label how you can assign the label you have to give the uh, label as the group 1 or you can give the label uh, here in the queue group okay and inside that queue group i can add so you can add the caption so you have various options here as well okay i'm just going to add the caption as um queue group one okay and you can uh, add some more uh, properties if you want okay i'm just going to use only caption here and in the field name uh, you can you have the field right if you wanted to show uh, the field here as a balance so you have the balance field in um, in customer table so i can just show the balance field here okay and inside that i'm going to add the um, caption field caption is equal to balance okay so i have given the caption here and uh, uh, drill down because if if you click on that particular data i'd have to drill down and show you the page right so i have to give the trigger for the drill down so what i'm going to do is what p trigger okay and on what i'm going to give on drill down so on drill down okay so on drill down what it has to show if it has to move to the uh, that is the balance okay you can by default it will be like that so if you want to give some message to that then you can on drill down if it clicks then it has to show up something like hi some message or some actions to be performed you can give so as of now i'm just going to print a message uh, you are learning Q. Okay, so I've just given this action. So this is the first Q group which we have created. Okay, and this is the first Q group group. Okay, and the next one which I wanted to show can add the further fields if you want under that particular group. So I can just simply press a field. Okay, I'll just copy this as of now copy paste it and if you want to show something other uh, uh, numbers okay like uh, measures then you can just type balance so balance due i can use balance due here and if you just don't want to give any drill down properties over there you can simply leave it now we can also add one more property here which is the style property okay if you just click style it will show you the style property so what is that style property we should understand if you want to display some colors to that okay so you have few pop properties for that so style sets a value that determines how text in a field on a page is formatted okay so uh, you can tell that how the text in the field can be formatted it has some specific uh, uh, property values here so once if you type style okay is equal to and if you press space you have various options right attention attention accent favorable none you have various things so now let us just go with an attention which will give you red italic okay so i can just type attention you can just go and try different options and see how it is working okay so i'm not giving any other further uh, uh, details here so even here i'll just leave it okay okay and the third field i'm going to type here okay so simply what i'm going to do is what i am going to add a, a simple number which it has to display okay so what i wanted to do i can also create a, um, a variable here uh, down i can go on here um, i will create a number okay uh, t trigger okay on open page 
when when it opens on open page when it opens what it has to do okay this is a trigger for uh, uh, what this is a trigger for okay this is a trigger for uh, page we have on open page we will discuss about the triggers here uh, like uh, all types of triggers okay but as of now we will just go ahead with this okay i'll also declare where okay inside the trigger we should not declare it should be outside the trigger par number my number my integer my number colon integer and inside that on trick on open page i am just declaring it to my number colon is equal to 100 and on the top i am just going to call this okay so number okay this is the number which i have created okay and here the balance will be this is will be balance due and this will be uh, the number okay you can give the caption here um number okay so what we are going to use it uh, do is what we are going to just use the style expression here okay style expression so what is that style expression property so sets whether the format that is specified in the style property is applied to the text in the field okay so for for fields in a group a uh, queue group control this property is used to configure the color of the color indicator on the queue so color indicator you can specify so i can just uh, give you the uh, options here so you have these options okay so what we can assign as what okay so for style expression we can tell uh, like um, uh, okay we will use like red or something okay we will just try to go ahead with uh, red let's see like what's happening here okay so let us first try to execute this uh, this code because we have created the queue group here let us save it and let us try to execute it and see what's happen so this is what the very first one which we have created is what the queue group balance okay the second one is what the balance due and the third one is what the number which we have created okay if you click on this balance it will show you that what is the balance amount we have okay so there is no data uh, regarding the balance fine so it is showing like this and um, this is the queue group this is the uh, this is the label okay this label is what we have given here group 1 okay and here you can see uh, sorry this is the queue group 1 the caption we have given and this is the balance if you click on this balance by default it will have the drill down property and if i click here balance due it will also show you the drill down property and for the number um, we haven't given any anything okay you can we can just add the drill down property here and i can see here that it is showing something right it's showing the uh, style so okay it's also showing the style attention so that might be the reason mm, we can delete it you have to use either style or style expression we can also use both but we have to uh, make it uh, clear okay so this balance is not working out let us go ahead with amount okay and what we are seeing here is what um, the one is the amount and second one is the amount lcy okay we will just change this to amount and amount lcy here okay i'm just giving amount and amount lcy let us save this let us execute this again in order to see how it is working okay let us execute this again now we can see like how the data field is aggregated and if you wanted to drill down some number so this is the variable which we have created inside the group right like sorry in, in the page so if you wanted to make some drill down properties here then probably you have to write the drill down trigger okay so you can start with the t trigger and on drill down okay and on drill down what you wanted to display you just i i'll just display the message here message okay so this is the simple message i have created and here you can see it is showing the balance due 
there is no balance amount that is the amount which is not showing up let us see what's happening there and this is the balance due to showing that is it is bringing up the value for invoice amount lcy okay but it's not showing it for the amount okay let us try to bring up something um a m o u n t other amounts okay uh invoice amount is not there probably uh um, the data is not there that is why it's not it's not bringing up okay so now let us execute this again to see how it's working okay here you can see it's showing up the balance okay since we have used the accent sorry the style and the style attribute it is showing like this so i'll also show you how to bring up that um, uh, uh, that color code that is the uh, 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 that is we can we can also bring up a uh, uh, small uh, conditional bars like uh, thing which which is really required for this queues okay so you can see here that yes it's showing the balance balance due this is a number and for this i have written the drill down property if you click on this it will show you the message if you want to perform some other task for uh, when you click on any queue if you want to perform something you can also do that okay so here it is showing for uh, the uh number okay drill down property so in the next video we will also see like how to uh, create a multiple queue groups okay queue groups and how to do some more stuff with the uh, queues thank you take care bye bye